and people have taken really well to my dental tooth tips, so I thought... Set three, double box opening. This is set three of the One Piece card name, Japanese, and I'm opening two because in English boxes we get double the hits, so I'm kind of used to seeing that, and I want you guys to be able to see that also. But if this is your first time here, and you want to see Shrippums every week and One Piece content stuff, go ahead and smush that subscription button. It would be really cool if you did. And if you're a returning member, thanks for coming by for the second part of my story. So I'm just gonna get right into it here. Um, shrip them a box and continue talking about my perspective on uh, dentistry because I am a dentist and people have taken really well to my dental tooth tips so I thought I'd do a series where I really just focused on talking about dentistry um, while I'm opening boxes because I like telling stories and opening cards and there's our bless them oh no I just lost the path in the, in the great box of shrip -ums. yeah so you know I actually record these videos like all at once I'll do like three videos at once so if you see my mustache growing at like weird rates it's not actually that my mustache grows at weird rates it's that um, I just get all my content recorded as together so I can manage all the other stuff I do because I um, I'm a little busy I'm kind of busy also I'm getting my pirate ship worked on right now so you may hear some weird noises like people banging and men talking and screaming that's um that's just pirate pirate ship expansion that's what I'm going through right now anyway so last week I was talking about you know how my job is kind of like invading people's space and how dentistry is like a really uncomfortable thing to have done and the different perspectives and approaches I take to try and keep people comfortable and so on and so forth but um, there's a lot of stuff that like goes on in your mouth that I feel like people don't really maybe isn't the first thing on their mind and wasn't really um, you know not something I really thought that much about until um, until I was uh, doing dentistry and um, one of those is that your mouth is like an insane place it's a really really crazy place you know if you drink like coffee and you have some hot coffee and you spill that coffee on like your arm or something it really doesn't feel very good actually I would say that it feels like terrible and like hurts a lot but for whatever reason you can pour that coffee in your mouth and it's like fine you can drink it right so the tissues in your mouth are like able to handle some pretty crazy range of temperatures and pressures even I mean the amount of force that your teeth can generate your jaw can generate those muscles like really really can generate an insane amount of force and why that's important is because when we're restoring teeth or when we're you know fixing a filling or putting on a crown or doing an implant or something like that like you know we have to consider all the forces that this thing is going to be taking for the rest of time and it's pretty insane what your brain can notice when something is off with your bite like to the micron tiny tiny amounts of material your brain knows when your bite is off so the you know the restorations have to be dialed in very 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 specifically to very um, small measurements so all this stuff is important because when you have different materials in your mouth it's good to know oh i love this art so much this one's so much more fire than the alt art i think people are right about that the alt art's nice and shiny but i like that art better um it's important to consider you know what you're putting in your mouth and how that might affect the things that are in there so one of the things that a lot of people do have are metal fillings. They're actually made out of a material called amalgam traditionally, which most people don't put amalgam fillings in people's mouths anymore. But if you do have amalgam fillings in your mouth, something that's worthwhile considering is like Sanji Don, avoiding a really drastic change in temperatures. So, you know, drinking something really cold, then eating something really hot or vice versa. Um, the metal has a different coefficient of thermal expansion and contraction than the two structure and what happens is when you drink something really hot that metal expands inside of the tooth and the tooth doesn't expand at the same rate and it causes little fracture lines over time so personally I recommend getting uh, amalgam fillings replaced I, it's not something that I recommend to my patients to keep in their mouth I kind of tell them hey you know it's worthwhile getting this thing out of there I do think it's worth letting dentistry run its course and live its life but trying to make a call on when to take that out and replace it is usually worthwhile because you don't want to let a tooth fracture because once the tooth fractures it's kind of too late to put that in there oh we haven't gotten alt art it, and it's the blessing so that means the alt art is in the blessing what could it be I hope it's something we haven't pulled yet that would be fantastic Sogekin. 
I thought we got all the Soggy Kings in this box, but I guess not. Maybe we missed one. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to go into the next box because I opened two boxes in these videos, as I mentioned before, um, because it just feels better. You know, I want to see more alt arts, and I'm sure you, you all want to see more alt arts also. So that's the way that it's going to be. Anyway, um, yeah, avoiding really drastic changes in temperature if you have metal restorations in your mouth, even if it's a crown with a metal interior. You know, crowns used to be made, they still are made like this, but not as common with a um, metal inside the uh, porcelain. They're called PFMs, or porcelain fused to metal. And, of course, our bless them. Um, that metal collar, or the metal inside surface of that crown, it moves differently than the porcelain. And over time, what happens is that metal expands from the margin of the tooth or where the metal is touching the tooth. And it will get to a point where, you know, something can get in there. So if an explorer can get in there when your exam is being done, or if you can see that it's open on a radiograph, it's a good idea to get that restoration replaced because if you don't, stuff is gonna get in there. There's no shortage of bacteria in anybody's mouth. It doesn't matter how clean your mouth is. Everybody's mouth has bacteria in it. Some people have bacteria that are more, uh, you know, dangerous than others. And when I say dangerous, I mean like they're more likely to cause gum disease or more likely to, um, to cause decay. The technical term for decay is caries. So carious bacteria. That's why gum with like xylitol is good because the, the sugar in, in uh, xylitol gum is not, uh, does not promote carious activity. That's the way that's said. So, you know, you want, you want stuff, you want to eat stuff that's not gonna, uh, you know, get bacteria to cause problems in your mouth. If you can get those bacteria to just not party so hard, then you're going to be a little better off. But anyway, you know, I've talked a lot about all this other stuff. I think talking about a good dental routine is probably important. It might be a reason why you're tuning into this video if you don't just want to see One Piece cards get open. And I've talked about this in a few of my dental teeth tips, but I figure since we're talking in this series, an important thing to have is a good routine. And what I think the best routine is, is brushing twice a day for two minutes with a power toothbrush, flossing at night. And if you can get some form of water irrigation built into your routine between your teeth, that's really great too. So I'm gonna talk through that a little bit and explain what I mean by brushing twice a day for two minutes with a power brush. So there's this huge conversation out there about are you supposed to brush before breakfast or after breakfast? What's more important? Well, there's two angles to that perspective and you can pick which one you think is more. Re oh, Prospero Alt Art. I have not seen this. That's really good looking. Wow. They smashed the Alt Arts in this set. They really did. That is a gorgeous piece of cardboard. Oh, I love that. Looks pretty, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of, well, there's tongues out, that's about it. Anyway, um, yeah, so you want to have a good routine. And what that looks like, what I recommend, is brushing in the morning, and there's this conversation about brushing before or after breakfast. And if you brush before breakfast, you get something off of your teeth called the pellicle. When you wake up, your teeth kind of feel like a little fuzzy sometimes. That sort of fuzzy feeling is a bacterial layer that forms overnight called the pellicle. And that pellicle essentially acts as scaffolding for more stuff to stick to your teeth. So if you brush that off before you eat breakfast, you're brushing off that thing that sticks stuff to your teeth. And if you brush after breakfast, then... Ooh, Nami Swan! Yeah, yeah. This is the other alt leader that I wanted to pull. This is, this is really good. Wow. Wow, look at that. That is a gorgeous piece of cardboard. Holy hell hexagon oh yeah that's a fire pole this is a great case this is a really good case the last one i got that fire fist ace and the ace in one box it was a double ace box on valentine's day that was wild check out the stream if you want to see that yes two cards i don't have that's fantastic um and the thing that uh if you brush after breakfast then you get that food off of your teeth that was sticking to it from breakfast so it's really, you know, there are multiple angles to that argument. Um, what I recommend is brush your teeth when you remember, because I know from personal experience, if I don't brush my teeth first thing in the morning, I'll forget to brush my teeth. 
So if I say I'm gonna brush my teeth after breakfast, well, what if I don't eat breakfast? Then I don't brush my teeth. Or if I forget to eat breakfast? Or what if I just forget to brush my teeth after breakfast? I know for me personally, that's like how I operate and function. So my recommendation to you would be brush your teeth when you remember to brush your teeth. So, oh, there's our Sanji Don. That's really everything from this box. If you're gonna do it before, do it before. If you're gonna do it after, do it after. Just remember when you do it. It doesn't make that much of a difference when you do it. And we'll tune back in for part three of this theory. Thanks for checking out. Those are fire pulls. Sang Kyu, Gozaimasu, Jana Mata.